Producing here at Ghost to Eleven Media, joining us again today. Thank you for another episode of Grounds for Divorce with my wife Paula. How are you doing? Pretty good. A little warm? It is, and these lights aren't helping it. No. Even though they're fluorescents, they still give off a certain amount of heat, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, plus as well, closing everything up so that we don't get all the sounds from outside. So that, you know, and it's humid. I don't Indeed. like humidity. No, it is humid. As I say, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. <laughs> all so, right. What's going so, on? Oh, well, today I'm kind of curious with all the wolves going on. Your Archie shirt, Newton. your necklace, even your napkin. I like wolves. What can I say? How come? Uh, I, you know what? I think they're just an amazing creature. They're just very powerful uh, in how they work together as a pack and uh, community. And if you look at how the hierarchy works within the pack, I think it's really cool. Um, but And spiritually, just really, really neat animals. I wear this all the time. This is my little uh, Viking wolf. Right. Yeah, so, I like that. Yeah, so. it's pretty cool. So, yeah, a little change up, you know. We've been doing all the rock themes lately, so I thought we'd take a little break, give you guys a little bit of a wolf. Uh... Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> all right, <laughs> what do we got on tap today? So today we have a company from East Van. They started up in 2014. It's the Palette Coffee Roasting Company. So today we have an espresso roast and a medium. A light medium. Light medium. Thank you for correcting me. So let's try this one first, the espresso. Um, and actually, I'm wondering because I bought this at a cafe, so not directly from the palette company. I actually bought it from a company called Cafe Divano in Coquitlam. Okay. And I'm wondering if this is actually blend blended for them. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll have to reach out to the company. You just got these yesterday. Yeah. So I'll have to do some research uh, tomorrow's Monday and reach out to their office and see. Okie dokie. Let's so give it let's, a go. Let's try Hey, and I told you guys we were going to get some new mugs, and I'm pretty excited about them. Yeah, they're very nice. These are, and I'll put the link in the video description for you, but they're uh, double walled. So actually, they're not scorching hot on the outside. And they look really, really cool. Like I'm pretty impressed with how they uh, they do stuff. You can see the the drink inside. So now you guys get to see the coffee. Yes. All right, rock and roll. All right. So this is the espresso blend. Nice, rich. Mhm. Mm Very flavorful. There's a lot of flavor in that one. Mhm. Mm like it's my taste buds are firing on that. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So these guys really focus on the quality of the beans that they purchase and they source out. Yeah. And they buy direct from the, the, uh, the farmers? I believe from the farmers, yeah. They source out that's the farmers. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a nice coffee. I like that. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Mm -hmm. I can drink this glass. And now this is the light medium roast. After you. Oh, thank you. That's uh, mm. very nice and bright. Yeah, it's, it's a different flavor entirely mm -hmm. from this one. Mm -hmm. This one's got stronger, I would say, stronger flavors, but not in anything that's um, overpowering, but it's definitely a stronger flavor palette than this one to me. Yes. Uh, this one would be a much lighter drinking coffee. Yeah, so the espresso, they mm. state, is um, more of a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. This is more milk chocolate. This has fruit. Let me take a peek here. Subtle berries. Sweet caramel. Is that a new type of berry? Subtle berries? I'll have some subtle berries, please. I don't know. You'll have to ask them with that, too. That's a good question, right? <laughs> and then that one, if you want to read what that one says over there... This one, milk chocolate and sweet tropical fruits. So yeah, I can definitely taste some. Yeah, definitely, right? It's it's definitely it's mm -hmm. it's it's a softer flavor to it. Mm -hmm. It's not as intense, right? So more of something like if I was comparing it to, and it's kind of a goofy comparison, but if I was comparing it to like a whiskey, yes, 
this one would be more what I would call a sip and whiskey, right? Yes. This, and this one would be more, something you drink a little bit more mm. freely, right? Yeah. Like the espresso, I think would be really great as a latte, of course. Aren't they all? <laughs> but this one, I think it's something I could just drink black for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. This one, you know, for me is, is to drink black would be just a little too intense. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. just for my taste buds for the mm -hmm. coffee. I like a little bit more mellow. mellow rounded flavor. It's very good. Like it is not that it's not good. It's very good. I like it a lot. Yeah. But I think if I was going to actually just have a cup of joe, this would be the one. Yeah. And then if I'm going to do this, it will be dynamite. I'm waiting to try that in a lot. Too. Okay, let's do it. Let's jump into that. Oh, you can't hide your artwork anymore. Uh, I don't know. Can they really see it? Could they can see, see it in the other one? <laughs> <laughs> you can see that oh, now. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> this sounds really good. It's probably one of the best mm. espresso roasts I've had. That's really Isn't nice. it? That's really nice. Isn't it really good? You tell me that expression? So what do we got going on here? The uh, 11 and 3 quarters percent uh, well, you got the, natural? No, you got the natural, right? Lactose free, it's 3.25%. There we go, it's good. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> Apparently, do you see that? <laughs> the territorial <laughs> possession, that's... I'm not getting that one out It's here. really good, like... Try that one. I, I have to say, it just... As a latte, it's like perfect. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. It's much more muted. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you, you don't get this, you know, what I call the stronger uh, flavors of coffee coming through. Yeah, if you're not um, a big, huge... If, you, if you're not into that whole thing of a strong coffee flavor or whatever, you're just looking for something that's going to give you that, um, the, the milky coffee flavor, that's the one. But if you're yes. looking for something that's going to give you more of the thing of like, you're actually drinking an espresso shot with the rich full flavors, they hold up very well through this one here, through the dark uh, espresso. Yeah, and it's, it's very good. And so, you, you guys know I love lattes, so I would drink either. I think they're both very good. Mm -hmm. But if I was looking for something with more flavor, I would definitely lean towards the espresso. I think this one here actually starts to, um, it just, it mellows it out just a little too much. Yes. Right? Black or with a little bit of cream. Yeah. Or even um, the, the uh, what do you call it, the, the canned? Oh, evaporated uh, milk. Evaporated milk, milk right? Just a, just a little splash, like just... Both are excellent. Yeah. So I have a little quiz for you. Uh oh. What's the trend that you've sort of noticed with the different roasts, like with the flavoring flavors that come out? You know, blonde, medium versus dark. Um, well, I think there's a lot of people who are moving into the darker roasts. You know, I think uh, just I think that it, it there definitely seems to be a different flavor palette with the dark roasts. Um, the later roast. What's what have we been seeing doing all these reviews that tends to come out more in a dark roast? I'll give you a hint. We did watch a video earlier today that explained it. Was, was I wait through that? <laughs> was I was I writing notes or was I was I fiddling with my phone? <laughs> that's that's the important thing for me. If you see me doing this, uh huh. <laughs> I was, probably doing this. I was probably doing this. I was probably doing that. Uh -huh. that <laughs> Share with us. Okay, so as we go into like this, oh, I got it. You're talking about? Are you talking about the the trend of it going towards being like wines? Is that what you're talking about? Kind of, yeah. Because there was a really cool clip. I'm going to put the the link in the description so people can watch it. Mm -hmm. It's a very good educational clip. It's about I think, 14 or 15 minutes long, so it is a little bit lengthy, uh, but it's actually really informative. And the guy yeah, is really going like into it. some really interesting things to note uh, as far as about wines and how they've gone through the whole estate wineries and how they do like 
uh, as opposed to blending, and I'll, I'll bring in the Scotch reference mm-hmm. again, he was talking about a single bean versus a blended bean, and he was saying that this way you get more of the real flavors and it's going to be like a single malt scotch versus a blended scotch. Very good, hun. But that was not what I was looking for. <sighs> I was so then I give up. <laughs> what were you looking for? Okay, so you probably were looking at your phone. Um, as we go from like a light medium roast into a darker roast, the trend for the flavors that come out in the darker roast, we start getting more of a dark chocolate and caramel flavor. Whereas the lighter roasts, I find you get more of a... Um, like a chewer, like if it's fruity, Mm -hmm. right? Some will say like this um, uh, light medium is like a milk chocolate Mm -hmm. sort of Mm -hmm. flavor, like really muted, you know, and then when cocoa's dark, you really can can taste that darkness, bitterness. Not that it's bad, it's very, no, 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 no. I can just make myself. All right. Which one's which? Nope. I can taste it. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> and I know my artwork too. <laughs> it's this. Nope. This one? No, you're lying. Maybe a little. Oh my lord, it is too hot. I'm dying here. So I'm going to end this segment. I'm just way too hot sitting here. Guys, thank you so much for your support. We got some great news. We are going to be launching our store starting this week. We're just working a couple of little bugs out. We're going to have a Grounds for Divorce store for coffee and coffee equipment and machines and all kinds of really cool stuff. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. We also have a new logo getting designed, which is really cool. It's lots of fun. So stay tuned. Look for that. We'll be posting some preview stuff on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, we will, by next video next week, we will have all of our stuff set up. So thank you very much. Hope you guys like this video. Click like if you did. Please don't forget to subscribe. We really need your support. And hit that reminder bell so you don't miss any future content from Ghost to 11. And we thank you. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Till next time. Ciao. Uh, uh.